Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Gentlemen, today we're going to talk about eye contact. How much eye contact should you have to have the most power when it comes to persuasion? I know common wisdom out there is you always look somebody in the eye and you're going to be more likely to persuade them. But I've got some research here today which is going to challenge that. And in some situations, yes, you do. You want to have eye contact. Other ones, not so much. Okay, before we get into this, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, these videos come right to you. Don't miss any of my ghost videos, which I put out occasionally, and only subscribers are going to get those. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I appreciate the like, and let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe you've got some personal stories dealing with eye contact. I like to get down there in the comments, see what you guys are saying, learn from you, and interact. Okay, so this is based off a 2013 study done over at the University of British Columbia. And what they discovered in the quick synopsis is that yes, eye contact has an effect on how persuasive we are. However, depends on what type of a question or how you're having it, if you're having a discussion or a long discussion or a short request. So if you make a short request, yes, eye contact makes you more persuasive. If you look somebody in the eye and you ask them a small thing like, hey, will you please go get this for me? Or would you mind doing this for me? And you look them right in the eye, you're going to be more persuasive. However, let's say you've got a 30 minute argument that you need to make. You're a politician. You're a, uh, you know, you're, you're just giving a presentation to your company. If you're continuously looking someone in the eyes more than what is considered normal, they can view this as you're being aggressive and they will have a tendency to try to resist what you're saying. So in the study over at British Columbia, uh, University of British Columbia, they had the students look at the eyes of the speaker for a prolonged period and they also had them look at the mouth of the speaker for a prolonged period. And those that were looking at the eye and felt that he was being aggressive because he was looking at them more than an average amount, which is about 30 to 60 percent of the time. It's more if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, less if you're in a group. But about 30 to 60 percent of the time is, is pretty much normal, more for whenever you are uh, listening to somebody and less if you're actually speaking with them. So. If they felt that he was being overly aggressive, they wanted to resist it and they were more resistant not only to the speaker but to his message. So why does this apply to us? How is this useful? Understand that if you're going to make a small request, eye contact, great. If you're going to be talking with a person for a longer time and if you don't know them very well. So another thing in this, uh, this study is that they did not know the speaker very well. If you're having, you know, this is someone that you know and you've got a strong relationship with, you will most likely normally have higher percentages of eye contact. But realize in those longer discussions, especially if you're speaking to a group, it's okay to look around, occasionally look at someone. Uh, maybe you know you can offset it also with a smile so that they feel it's not very aggressive. But realize you don't want to zero in on people right in the eyes because they will feel maybe that you're just being aggressive and they're going to resist it. So hopefully you found this useful. I thought it was important because the conventional wisdom out there always says more eye contact is better and that turns out not to be the case. So take it, run with it. I've got some other videos out there talking about eye contact personal presentation. So go check them out. And if you want to read the article which we have that goes into more info, actually has a summary of the research, go check out Real Men Real Style. I'm going to link to the article and just over at Real Men Real Style in general, I've got free ebooks for you where we talk about the importance of personal image and presentation and how you can use it to get what you want out of life. Gentlemen, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.